All right, hey guys, today um, I am going to be doing a uh, unit review that I've been trying to make for quite some time now. I am going to be reviewing the Chinook helicopter, and um, if the audio is a bit bad, it's because, um, well, uh, so as some of you probably know, uh, I, uh, well, as uh, most of you probably know, I have not been uploading very many videos lately at all. And that is not because of any, they of like, any normal issue. It's because of the, it's actually because the video recorder, uh, cam studio that I was using. For some reason, I don't know what it is, I guess it was just that Battle Nations and Cam Studio don't work together very well. Because whenever I, let's say, the... The game would just freeze up. That's what would happen. So uh, now I'm using a different uh, recording software called Bandicam. I did some test runs, and it looks like it'll work pretty well. So um, we should not be having that problem again. Um, but yeah, uh, I also so uh, you're probably wondering if I ran the vault, and uh, I did. I got, I did this. Because 600 nanos is expensive. Um, yeah, so I got an elemental. And um, so now I have five of them. Uh, so I, I am fine with I I love them. I, elementals are awesome. Let's see, where are they? There they are. Elementals. But, um... Yeah, so this is, uh, this is not a review of the Elemental, though. This is a review of the Chinook. So I'm going to go up against something that may be, many people may need help with. And Chinooks are actually quite good at this sort of thing. So the Chinook is, it looks like a bad helicopter. I mean, look at this. I would definitely not want to fly in this thing or be anywhere near this thing when it took off. And just look at that, it's like drifting to the side when it's supposed to be staying upright. Yeah, but it's a good helicopter. This is a nice damage, even though it doesn't have any armor piercing. This attack does have armor piercing, though. It can do over 400 damage with this one shot. And that's if it doesn't crit. And it has 30% armor piercing, which is really nice. So, um... Yeah... I'm going to throw that in there. Legendary boar. Legendary raptor. And then I'll just throw in some elementals because they're awesome. But yeah, guys, now, uh, so it's awesome that now I can continue making more videos. Because uh, I was really unhappy when that did not work. Uh, when Cam Studio just stopped working. Um, but now it's fixed. If it is still glitching, uh, make sure to tell me in the comments. Definitely tell me, because I want this problem to be done. I want this to be fixed. Um, it's just as much as you guys do. So, um, yeah, so I have two Chinooks. You could have a maximum of three, if because they were in three boss strikes. They were the tier seven for each. So I'm going to do some freezing here. i got a nice freeze lock. Or little freeze lock, not a big one, but... Yeah, so this thing, if you had the Chinook in the back row, it can hit the first two rows. Can't hit the back row, it is. Excuse me. Um, this, with this attack, you can, though. You can hit all three rows, regardless of which row you're in. And this attack is nice. I hope that I had some air units here, but I don't. Um, I'll look around. Maybe there's some in my base elsewhere. But, um, anywho, so uh, here's this attack. It's the best, in my opinion. It did some pretty nice damage against these sandworms. And it's pretty much the only good Silver Wolf aircraft that we've had. The Crop Buster was... Oh my goodness, don't even get me started on that thing. Uh, yeah. And also, I don't know what this number here does. I, I don't know if you're noticing this, but I'm seeing a little red number. It might not be in the recording or anything. It might just be part of Bandicam. 
But if you use Bandicam, uh, and there's a little number in the top left hand corner of the screen. Again, I don't know if you guys seeing this or uh, if you viewers are uh, noticing this. They, Bandicam might have edited this thing out automatically, but uh, if you are seeing this, tell me. If, I mean, if you know what's going on with this, tell me, because uh, it's just confusing me a bit. I'm just curious. But, um, yeah, guys. So the elementals are really nice as well. If you have not seen my review on it, I would highly advise that you check that out. The only issue is they are weak to crushing and piercing damage. Which is not good. Oh, oh man, I hate that when I mean to drag something over, but it doesn't work. I'll just use the touch screen then. That's a nice thing about having a touch screen laptop. It's like having a big iPad. Because, um... I'm used to playing on my iPhone, and um, iPhone's a touch screen, uh, if you somehow did not know that. Uh, if you did not know that, I'd say, where have you been for the past, like, what has it been now? Didn't they come out? I think that they, when did iPhones come out? I don't know, for the past several years. <laughs> no, 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 so, um... Yeah, it's just kind of hard. Okay, sometimes I have a bit of trouble working with the touch screen just because I'm so used. Well, I'm, I occasionally have trouble working with the mouse pad and stuff like that just because I'm so used to using a touch screen. So, as you can see, most people, uh, some people have problems with these sandworms. Chinooks are going to help you get the job done. They are, unlike. Unlike the crop buster, oh my goodness, I'm yelling a lot. Uh, unlike the crop buster, they do not have an immunity to poison, so just remember to watch out for that. Alright, I'm gonna go and wreck the. I'm just gonna go and devastate. Actually, no. I'll probably do a unit review after this, actually. Uh, where to find them? Go and see if anyone else has any stuff, has any um, airplanes, any of my friends. Uh, let's look. Please see if this guy has some occupations that I can just defeat. Nope. Uh, Alright, here, so there's a blimp here. Alright, I'll take that. Alright. I'll throw in units that I don't usually use. I like, I, I never use a shadow agent. Um. I'm just going to throw in a plasma trooper for grins and giggles because plasma troopers are nice. Um, uh, oh, I, also, I got the peacemaker. It looks awesome, but it doesn't really work as awesome as it looks. It's, its performance is not as good as it look, as it looks. Let's just say that. Alright, so this attack here. It does splash damage, which is really nice, and um, it can hit all three rows. Just watch this blimp go down. Uh, how did that usually one-shot an aircraft? I don't know why it didn't. Uh, I'll wait for it to reload. Hmm. Man, the Shadow Agent's actually doing relatively well now. Now that I'm doing a review about a unit that is completely unrelated to it. Right there. So the Chinook has like the second best anti-air attack in this game, I think. I don't know if that's technically... In my opinion, it's like the second best. From what I've seen. 